The Palestinian Authority has been quick to dismiss the Palestine Papers as, quote, mindless sensationalism. Now, just hours after we broke the news, senior PLO official Yasser Abed Rabo had this to say. I'm asking researchers to immediately form a committee to study these documents and to verify their authenticity or not, and to study the extent to which Al Jazeera has taken certain sentences out of context and quotes which were said sometimes in an ironic way. Now, the PA's main allegation is that Al Jazeera took the quotes from the papers and presented them out of context. You can check it for yourself and see if it's true by going to transparency.aljazeera.net the full documents are online, and maybe the fact that the Palestine papers are on the internet explains why Abed Rabu made this reference to the WikiLeaks website. The Al Jazeera leadership tried to buy the WikiLeaks site, and as you know, as they say, money in Qatar is unlimited. They wanted to have a monopoly on the WikiLeaks site, and they paid an extortionate price for that. But the owners of WikiLeaks didn't want to give the monopoly to Al Jazeera to publish documents, so the deal collapsed. And that is why Al Jazeera has now begun to compete with WikiLeaks. Now, Abed Rabo also complained that the Palestinian Authority was not able to see the documents before we went to air. They never sent anybody to say to us, there are documents, there are facts or half facts, there are papers, there are maps. Do you have answers regarding this? We are going to make these papers public and let them make it public. But we would also like your response and your feedback. Media professionalism and political honor would have required that. We'd like to remind all members of the Palestinian Authority that they're welcome on Al Jazeera anytime to respond to the Palestine papers. We do hope they'll show.